Hi, this is Tom English. In less than 10 minutes, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Open Grok and how to use it effectively. How to navigate and search your source code with Open Grok. It's pronounced Grok, which means to understand intuitively. You may hear people say, Grok it. They are asking you to search your source code. Open Grok is a source code search and cross-reference engine and it's extremely fast. First developed by a Sun Microsystems security sentry whose job was to continually check for security vulnerabilities through thousands and thousands of lines of code in Solaris images, clusters, and binaries flowing from numerous entry points. Perl script was written to extract information and Lucene was used to search through the enormous amount of data. OpenGrok uses Lucene to create an inverted index and allows the code to be analyzed in multiple ways. Capabilities include full text searches with history, search within any subtree for any modification date, and a lot more. OpenGrok supports SAP depositories in Perforce and GitHub lots of file and directory history information. Ever need to know who modified a specific line of code? Ariba OpenGrok is accessible only on the SAP Ariba network or VPN. Help is available with the following URL. Log in to Ariba OpenGrok with any web browser. Enter the URL opengrok.ariba.com. Enter your Ariba username and password. The OpenGrok main console page opens. Common search parameters apply. Plus sign to indicate required, colon to identify search fields. Your search clause may include terms, phrases, and operators. Search single or multiple characters. Find similar words. Perform proximity or range queries. OpenGrok will not index one-letter words as symbols. There are a few exceptions that can be escaped. All query parameters can be viewed in Help. There are five search fields, each with its own purpose and characteristics. We'll look at each. Full text will search through all words, strings, and numbers. Definition searches code definitions, and symbol will find their usages. File path is used to search within a tree and can be used to identify file types or extensions. History searches through log files and comments. Select a project from the available list. Scroll to find your project or enter the first letter of a project. Entering the letter S finds and takes you to the projects beginning with an S. Click on a project to select. The lower section of the console homepage displays the details of the project or build. Project is the build name. Label is the build title. Product is the type of project or build. And the date of the last index. Clicking the Ariba source tree link displays the OpenGrok project's directory structure and allows for clicking deeper into the tree. Clicking on any project will open the folder structure. Clicking on any project in the lower section produces the folder tree also. Double clicking the project within the list displays the folder tree for the build. Further discovery can be performed by clicking through the tree. To add a build or project to OpenGrok, contact the Release Control Team. They will request your project type and required information. Let's look at some search examples and techniques. If you're looking for a list of the core team Selenium scripts, enter Selenium into the File Path field. Enter test.ariba.user in the Full Search field to find the text within all Selenium scripts.
Click on any file name to open and view the code. Click Download if you want to save a local copy. The full text search allows for full text, definitions, and symbols. Enter any text to search every line of code within the build selected. A full text search for Selenium returns each line of code showing the exact line number with the word Selenium and the file name the word was found in. Search for any path names in the full text search. The results return each line of code that includes the path with the file name it appears in. The full text search works best with additional filters or search parameters. Entering Arc Chooser Search, Search Action, in the Full Search field and AWL in the File Path field We'll search for all the places where we are using the Arc Chooser Search object and Search Action Binding in AWL files. Now I want to search for all instances of the Approval Limit field. And I want to exclude several folders. By prefixing a minus sign before any term, all paths matching CSV, Migrate, IE10N, and Test will be excluded when entered into the File Path field. If you would like to search for all the X-rated code that needs to be fixed under XXXD Finlay or XXX minus Tim Finlay using double quotes, this query uses the OR Boolean search to look for two different formats. Double quotes returns literal strings appearing as results. Wildcard searches are supported also. To search for all the new manage approval process permissions, we can use an asterisk. In addition, we can use filters as contains, starts with, and ends with to narrow the search. A proximity and fuzzy search will search for all usages of the terms together or close to each other. To search for all the AML files defining the rule set within five words of each other at most, we enter class name rule set in double quotations, followed by a tilde and a five. Enter AML in the path field to exclude other folders. To the left of each file name are shortcuts to view the history log, annotate, or download the file. Click on any file name to open and view the contents. The same shortcuts appear at the top of the screen. Clicking on Navigate opens a navigation window that will allow you to jump to a specific method or class. The History field returns log file contents for each file in the project, including comments, date of last modification, and who made the changes. Enter a name. You'll find the history of that person and any changes made. The diff information provides detail on file differences by comparing the changes from previous versions. The older version on the right, the newer on the left and you can look at each version separate. 